Alright everyone, so we're going to learn a little bit about searching for land, how to pay your rent, joining the group, my home panel, changing homes, managing security, creating objects, and of course using forms to manage your property. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is learn how to search for land. Go to www blombie.com you can do this from the internet this is our home page alright so at the top of the page click on land search it will bring you to the search menu where you can select from commercial luxury rentals and undeveloped parcels of course luxury rentals are the most popular because they feature our my home technology a little bit of information on that page but if you go down to the bottom it should have our available islands for you to select from. Alright, so another way that you can actually search for land is going to our main store. We do have links in several different places including the bottom of our website, so once you arrive there you'll notice right away that we have an easy search computer that lists all our available properties on all our regions and then we have individual vendors that list specific parcels in sky homes so this is just a web-based computer that we have created for the in-world environment and these are the vendors it allows you to select different locations just find one and at the top of the vendor you'll see show on map and then go to teleport and it'll bring you to your property so this is how you pay rent look for the red mailboxes they accept your payments they can store up to 52 weeks worth of rent just pay it what will happen is you'll automatically receive an invitation immediately after you send your rent You'll get a note card. I recommend that you accept it. It has full details on the parcel that you're renting. So there you go. There's the invitation. Click on join. And you're now in the group. If there's any problems or you accidentally leave the group by mistake, it happens a lot and we like you to know that you can easily invite yourself at any point in time without having to rely on someone else. Uh, just click on your red mailbox, go to invite and invite yourself. This is the same place you would actually invite a partner just like you can invite yourself. Let's, uh, let's add a partner. We're just going to click on the red mailbox again. Click on invite. Click on new partner. And enter their name. If it's a one word username, then add resident as their last name. If it's not a one word username, just enter their full name. Remember, their username. Big difference. You can also use the red mailbox to remove your partner, they'll automatically get ejected out of the group and add a new partner at any point in time. Alright, so this is the My Home panel. This is a device that's been put together to allow you to change your home at any time. If you get bored of a house, you can now change it go into the menu and select your house there's plenty of folders with plenty of different houses and they will automatically put themselves together without you requiring any technical knowledge uh, users we wanted to also engage you with our services and that's why we created this technology that allows you to do just that Now, 
you can also change the floor there's a pink button at the bottom of the my home panel click on it and you can choose between grass or sand we have different shorelines that are dirt or sand as well if the grass is dark then we tried to match it up with dirt if it's light grass then we tried to put a sand shoreline of course this video doesn't showcase all the homes that we have available so once you become a tenant you'll be free to go through them yourself it does take a while so hopefully you do become a tenant and enjoy the houses we are planning on adding a lot more in the future so uh, stay tuned for that so this is the security orb that's available on the my home panel very easy to use when you add your partner to the rental box it will also be added as a controller you can activate your security, deactivate the security. If your security is activated, then you have a whitelist that only the users on it are allowed to enter your property. The same rule with adding users is that if they have a one word username, you must add resident as their last name. If they have a two word username, then you don't need to add resident. When you add someone's name, just remember not to add the name that can be changed because anyone can have that name. It's their username. If you see a dot in between two words, it's because they have a two word username. In your local chat, it will give you confirmation whether or not they've been added. Alright, so let's check out the forms. This is a really important function of your living environment it allows you to submit requests to me in an orderly fashion that allows me to uh, take care of everyone's needs first uh, form is the maintenance request if anything's broken submit it if you want to do a land transfer submit the form if you have ideas suggestions that can improve things submit it if you want to upgrade your prims to a higher amount Submit the form. If you have a complaint about anything, submit it. And the most important thing is the referral form. If you want to earn some extra cash, then we do pay 50% of the first payment on any new residence payment. Um, fill in their name, fill in your name, and submit the form and we usually try to go through them within four weeks and at the time that we're actually completing your form as long as that person is still residing at the address then you will receive fifty percent of their first payment enjoy your home